They'll be calling you a radical. Back to Fukushima. Back to the protests in Taiwan. My San Francisco gig. All of it. It's all the same thing. Control. The fucking control freaks are out of fucking control. Couple things. First, the protests are going on in Taiwan now are gigantic, epic. The IEA, and I want people to know this. I've been all over this for since Fukushima happened. Gigantic. Millions of people protesting in Turkey. Millions of people protesting in Taiwan. Huh? Tens of millions in Japan. Now, I want anybody to think that thinks, oh, well, I'm over the top. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I got, I almost got in a fight with a guy at Giant Stadium. Guy come up to me and he says, you're Kevin Blatt. Yeah. You cost me a lot of money. Oh, yeah? How's that? Had this girl with him. He was a big dude, too. I think he was trying. He got right up in my face. He says, oh, I got a fish restaurant. And then I says, really? How did I cost you fucking money? Telling you the fucking truth? What, what did I do? All your stand tuna shit, blah, 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 blah. And I'm listening, fuckhead. He said, no, I, I bullshit. Show me your dad. I fucking show you mine all the time. Anyway, I got into it with him. Fucking about five, six different people started clapping and come up there because I got in his fucking face. That's what we have to fucking do. These fuckers, twofold. One, I want everyone to just think about this fact. Think about this fact. The fact, the fact that simply, simply the fact that they are locking people up in Japan for even talking about Fukushima. Barack Obama said it himself, I've said it a million times on this vlog, we are Japan. I didn't draw the line. Those treaties were obviously signed before I was even born. Hello? We're Japan. You know, the mob running? Oh yeah. Yeah, the mob running... From that mob, running the Japanese mob, and in San Francisco, it is nothing but a cultural theme park for Europeans. It's grotesque. It's, as I was down there, I forgot how much I love that city. I've spent, I've been going back and forth in that city my whole life. I absolutely love that city. I'm heartbroken is what happened to that city. And it's just happened the last few years. The weak dollar has benefited two places. One, Manhattan. The, well, they think it's benefited them. It's become a cultural theme park for Europeans to come shopping at. Just like Europe did post World War II. Why well, do you think no art, nothing's ever come out of Europe? Because you keep serving coffee and you go down that road. It's a slippery slope to go down and Europe will tell you that. You know, no art, no creativity's come out of there of any substance because it has to be organic. It has to be rooted in making things. It has to be rooted in the idealism of things and places with your strong back is I've read my definition of post-ignorance. That doesn't happen when you're serving coffee and food and freaking so-called luxury goods made in Bangladesh by slaves. That's Think about this. San Francisco, the youngest cultural theme park in world history. It's 150 years old and it's already a cultural theme park. $45 a night to park a car there. Serious. There's no Americans there. It's you know, it's all Europeans. And I want, and I'm going to put up a big, long subset of videos called San Francisco Hates the Environment. San Francisco Hates Environmentalists. I've got 33 of them. Some are pretty intense. One of them I won't be able to put up because the pedophiles out there. So I'm not even going to bother even try. It's a big thing for these American. Oh, we're cosmopolitans, these young females. You know, here I'm standing, sitting there. This side of me is a young woman with her young children, four or five year old little girls. Oh, it's cool. They're running in and out of the sea naked. Japanese woman over there, same thing, kids on the other side, running in and out of the lake. So I talked to them both. Do you know about Fukushima? Yeah. Do you know how bad it is? I don't know. Well, obviously you don't. I consider it child abuse. I mean, the, the grotesque. They're raping the fucking land. I want everybody to fucking really know this. And I'm going to hammer these fuckers down there. I'm going to get some people fucking in tr big trouble down there. Mark my words. Golden Gate, I was part of that gig. I've been fighting for those sanctuaries for fucking 40 years down there. Golden Gate underneath that is an sanctuary, federally funded fucking land. It's against the law for people to have their fucking dogs in there. I mean, if that's the byproduct. Because I'll put up these. They're walking fucking dogs. There's... That's the big job, walking dogs. All these oligarchs and their fucking, thousands of fucking dogs down there. They're chasing the blue herons. I mean, you watch that video I put up, 
underneath Golden Gate the other day. You could see it. That dog almost gets that blue heron. That's against the fucking law. The, the marshes, they're not, it's against the law to mow the grass there. I, the girl tells me, I get talking to them, I'm communicating with them. I'm not supposed to tell anybody, but we're prisoners in prison. They told us we're not supposed to na mow the native grass, just mow the grass. How the fuck do they? And they're down there, there's nobody supervising, you know. I mean, there's probably got there with binoculars. They don't know. It's against the fucking, they are federally protected fucking marshes. And there they are because money trumps everything. San Francisco thinks their money is greater than their health. Their money is greater than their children's lives. Their money is greater than art. Their money is greater than the fucking truth. You're fucking wrong and I could feel it right in my fucking built bone marrow. Literally. And you will too. So many of you will. All your money can't another fucking money? Bid it by fucking Steve Chinese jobs. The protests that are going in Taiwan. I mean, look at them. I'll post pictures. They're gigantic. They're violent. They're intense. They're, they're being fucking hot water hose. There's people being shot. The protests in India. People are being killed. Several activists were shot in the head. You see that on any media? Any of you fuckers that think I'm full of shit that the media is not 100% controlled by the nuclear industry. Barack Obama is not 100% controlled by the nuclear industry. You think of those two things. That's fascism. And this is not going to end well. This is exactly the same dynamic that was leading up. Now remember in San Francisco when the influential was covered up, the influential plague of 1918, it hit San Francisco probably harder than anyone. Now think, they tried and tried to cover it up. They wouldn't say, oh no, the same thing they're saying in Fukushima. And the people went along. When it finally the truth came out, oh did the mobs fucking get violent. So they say, oh, well, Kevin, you're going to cause panic, whatever. We could have used some good, healthy fucking panic because then this is malice. This is black and yellow journalistic fucking whores. This is fucking, where the fuck are the attorneys, you fucking pieces of this shit? If I'm not living proof, if I'm not living proof that fucking radiation causes cancer, head of the Atomic Veterans, watch my dad. My dad's so healthy. None of his brothers and sisters are all still fucking alive. He's the healthiest one of them all. His fucking aunts and uncles and grandparents all lived to be a hundred. Incredible gen. Only one dead. The most healthy one. A guy with never had a fucking cavity. Then his son gets it. An incredible healthy fucking guy I had been. Over. Radiation causes fucking cancer. And there are no fucking low levels. There are no fucking low levels. Hello. There are no fucking low levels. It's accumulative. And that is not fucking low. Where do you get off that fucking low level in San Francisco? I'll put these up. You think about that, what's going on in Taiwan. You think about what's going in Japan, the mob. There are, and I know this for a fact, there are at least 8,000 of the workers already dead. They're going right down to the Chernobyl blade just because you're not seeing it on the fucking media, really? You look at these fucking pictures of it. Well, obviously, and when you do see it, you don't give a fuck because you think you're up on here. A cultural, you, there's no, I, I ended up on this trek by default. I have to have fresh juice and fresh vegetables in my body. Didn't even worry about it in San Francisco. I'll tell you what's broke my heart most about San Francisco. My favorite thing about San Francisco, every single street corner had fresh flower carts. Every single street corner had fresh prunes carts. They've been pushed out. Oh, I found out why. I, I walked and walked. I got blisters on my fucking feet. I walked so much. I covered the entire fucking peninsula. All of it. I mean, I got, you'll see these videos. Got kicked out of the Federal Reserve. Got fucking almost locked up at Berkeley. It's fucking outrageous the things they did to me. They're fuckers. The cops are cool in San Francisco. They're busing the homeless to San Diego. It's and all these people say, "Oh fuck, the, the Europeans all speak English." No, they don't. I try to, and that's all it is there. You know. Est-ce que vous parlez français? Vous parlez français? Best macula. Dunkoff. I mean. Yeah, us stupid fucking Americans. Well, this is, you don't think folks is in Europe too? Cultural theme park. It's sick. I could not find fresh juice anywhere. And everybody said, oh yeah, all the native people. Oh yeah, it's right over there. Go over there. It's right over by the bell park. No, right over there. You go there. No, nope, close. I did find it down there. The oligarchs know. By the way, in the financial district, the only redwoods are in the pyramid. Yeah, prime of, you know, the Trans-America pyramid. It's the only redwoods left. Stanford's fucking idealism spilled the fucking Stanford to Berkeley. They're raping the earth. I've never seen people that hate the environment more than these fuckers that live in. You can't afford to live there. So everybody's pushed out. So what it is? A bunch of facades. It reminds me of Washington, D.C. A bunch of ugly, ugly fucking people are taking the field when San Francisco is full of beautiful, beautiful people. 
My sea lions, or my sea turtles came crawling out of the ocean. Got to see a fucking whole pot of hum humpbacks. Oh, how great was that? You know, right after we saw the baby seal there, by the way, he called me. They're out there trying to rescue that baby seal, but whole pod of humpbacks out on Point Ray. Oh my God, Point Ray. Talk to the rangers. Clueless. Fucking clue. We want to get involved. Really? Three fucking years? We want to? That's what you fuckers get paid for. Fucking Marine Balls. I had it out with them all. Fucking arguing. Fighting fucking with them. What the fuck do you get paid for, you fuckers? I don't have any money. I'm fucking sick. I got to do all your fucking dirty work. And you are. It's the only piece of art that is meaningful in the country. And I'll post it. On top of the moment, the moment's being fucked, tore apart, fucking... Oh, they let them put statues in federal marshlands. Oh, yeah, it's the fucking MoMA. The sleeping fucking woman on top. It's Fukushima's ravishing. That is the perfect piece of art for you fucking pathetic fuckers. Ruin that grand city. It doesn't belong to you fuckers. What, could you own a fucking house there? It doesn't fucking belong to you fuckers. Stay on tuned.